Alright guys, so in this video I want to talk a bit about LiPo batteries and specifically these um, these little 1S LiPo batteries that you can get. Um, these usually power pretty much most of the tiny Whoop drones, anything like around about this size, these 1S batteries are going to power these things. Um, and usually what you'll find is that they'll connect into the drone through this power Whoop connector here. This power whip connector is just a bit more durable and it's not going to like pull out and uh, desolder as, as, as uh, easily, especially if you're crashing these things. You know, a lot of the smaller connectors, like the GST, two, uh, I think it's the 2.0 or something like that, the connectors just they break quite often. Whereas this, the power whip is a lot easier. So specifically, this is this is one of the Crazy Pony batteries. This is the uh, the high voltage one, 260 milliamp hour. But you know, really, I just want to talk about any of these batteries. Like this is the Beta FPV one. This is the Beta FPV one. Same thing, pretty much. Um, but really, you need to be careful of a few things when you're using these batteries in particular because these are 1S batteries. They don't have any sort of um, they don't have any sort of voltage protection in terms of you know exerting too much power. So you really need to monitor your voltage quite carefully with these things, especially as they're so small. It's very easy to damage them. Um, and what I mean by that is, say if you fly, the average flight time on a drone like this with a battery like this, it's going to be about two minutes. Okay. Now if you if you fly it for four minutes, yeah, you might just be able to squeeze a bit more life out of the battery, but what's going to happen is you're going to damage the cell, um, and so the battery then won't be able to perform as well in the future. You know, you might find that you only get one minute of flight time as opposed to three and a half or even two and a half. So really, the best thing and the only thing you need to really do when you're dealing with something like this is just to make sure that the drone you're using has an OSD, an on-screen display, and so that you can actually monitor the voltage of the battery as you're flying. That's really all you need to do. And if you get something like the Beta, FP this is a Beta FPV Beta 65. This is the smallest one they do. Um, but really, any of them, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reviewing all three of these Beta FPV drones. But really, most of the tiny whoops these days, especially if they come with like Beta Flight or something, go for the OSD version, the on-screen display. It's just gonna give you that extra bit of control over the batteries. Because these things, I mean, yeah, they're fairly cheap. You could pick up a pack of six for, you know. At ten pounds or something like that, but but really the problem is you don't want to constantly have to keep buying these things. If you can increase the life of the lipo batteries, you know, just by doing something as simple as making sure you don't overuse it, then that makes a lot of sense. You know, especially if you can buy so many of these so cheaply, just buy a big batch of them and make sure you don't use each one for more than two and a half minutes or so, and you'll be fine. You know, just make sure you have enough battery to land, especially if you're flying around the house. Just make sure you come into land at the right time and you're really going to save yourself a lot in terms of having to buy new batteries. So and before I move on to talk about the uh, the charger for these things, one other thing I would mention with, with uh, these particular LiPo batteries, the 1S ones, is that sometimes they just won't charge up to the full capacity and you know that's fine but as long as you make sure that through your OSD, your on-screen display, you're not flying the battery for anything lower than 3 volts because these are 1S batteries, it's only one time, so what? So the the minimum really, uh, in terms of voltage that you should be flying on is three to three point two volts. If you go lower than that to two point nine or three volts, you're going to damage the battery. And while you can do it, you know you can fly on two and a half, uh, two two point nine or three volts on these one S batteries. You're really going to damage the drone unless you make sure that you only fly when it has a voltage uh, ideally of three and a half three point five volts. Um, and this goes for any for even for two S and three S batteries. The number of cells. The number of cells, so a 1S battery is one cell, 2S, two cells, and so on. You should always aim to have three and a half volts per cell. So if you were flying a 2S battery with two cells, and all a 2S battery really is, is just two 1S batteries, two cells, uh, wired together, right? So if you're flying a 2S battery, then you need to make sure that you're never flying below seven volts, because three and a half volts, two batteries, three and a half times two, seven volts. So and, and so on, so you know, with 3S and 4S, etc. You can work out roughly what voltage you should be flying on. So if it gets down to like seven and a half volts or eight volts, try and land if you've got a 2S. So anyway, now we're gonna talk about these things. Now, these are little USB chargers that you can get for the 1S batteries. They just all plug in here. You can change the uh, the ampage. This is set to 0.6 amps to charge the 1S because these are quite high voltage. Um, but you can also use it for the smaller uh, batteries as well. You can get the 1S batteries that go into these type of connections instead of the power whip connector. 
Now, what I would suggest with these is don't expect too much. This thing costs about four pounds, all right? And I have to say, I've labeled it number one because this is the first one I bought. And for some reason, these middle two uh, charging ports, these don't work anymore. So I know that because it's number one, it's the first one, I can only use the four ones on the corner. They're the only ones that charge. So you have to be a bit considerate with these things. You know, get to get to know them. Um, they, they, are, they are a cheap option, but they do work quite well as long as you bear in mind it's not going to perform as well as a more expensive option for charging like multiple batteries at the same time. So yeah, just get to know them. Um, I'll put links to all of these things in the description. Again, these are really useful. As I said, four pounds, you can't really go wrong. It does help a lot, especially if you want to charge, you know, more than one battery at the same time, which we all do. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link to these in the description. But in general, these 1S batteries and for these types of drones, they're going to perform really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment letting me know what you think I've missed or, you know, any of your tips. And I'll see you next time.